Righty, and welcome to Oldies Water Bottle Club, the club that has traveled up from KZN, the only traveling team from Inter Province, right, versus the mighty force of Maputo Water Polo Club, our trusty friends from Mozambique. Fantastic to have them back this year. It's an absolute privilege to have them here. You can see a lot of familiar faces coming across in the side as well as the KZN guys. It's glad to have them back. They were at the inaugural tournament, so really, really glad to have them back. Current score reading two goals to nil in favor of the Oldies Water Polo Club. You can see the KZN guys will probably just look to get in tuned, right, get acclimatized to, to the climate, get back into their rhythm of things. Um, the Maputo guys will definitely be looking to improve from their previous tournaments. I think they've come in here with a lot of momentum. They've been training exceptionally hard. So all credit to them. We really hope to see them thrive. Uh, as we see, number four from Oldies carrying the ball up, Mitchell Slade. Ball goes into Todd Howard, but big save and rebound shot there from Adrian Truder. Great finish there from the Oldies Water Polo Club, and that leads it three goals to nil. When we have one minute, 30 seconds left of the first chakra. It's been a fantastic day for water polo here today at St. David's Marisinander at the Gauteng Invitational Water Polo Tournament. Lots of familiar faces, some new faces, which is what we love to see, right? And we love to see the community coming together to support the beautiful sport of water polo. Right, as Maputu look to carry the ball up the pool, Charlton Slays will look to carry it up. Ball goes across to Ricardo de Santos. Lots of familiar faces here from the previous years. Fantastic to see you. Great intercept though from Dilkunia, giving it back to Bricks, Gareth May. He will look to distribute ZNR on the counter, looking at options. One over to Adrian, onto number 12, Jordan Mailer, and Mailer will put it away. Bottom corner, fantastic goal there. Basic, basic counter attack. Water polo, you love to see it. and see just some fresh legs entering the pool on both sides. Uh, it will be very interesting to see how this KZN side do throughout the tournament. They have a few national representations in Dil Kinnear, Todd Howard and Gareth May, their current national team players. The Maputu men are definitely looking stronger than last year. The fitness has definitely improved, right, which is what we love to see. And we really hope that they are a lot more competitive this year round. As Maputu take the ball up the pool, Right, with number 14, and Slago, just a bit of a wayward pass there, and great defensive awareness from Ruin Basson from the Oldies Water Polo Club. Great long range pass there from Gareth May over to Todd Howard. He will look to carry, very patient on the ball, looking for the cross pass, opts to throw it, but hits the post. He does have an absolute rocket on him. Right, ball is collected again, though, they will have, the, they will have a second go. Goes into Dil Cunha down the middle. I think he'll look to fire. Big balk, big legs, great finish, and nothing Grand Bulcher in the goals could say about that one. Now you can see this Maputo side definitely looking a lot more structured, a lot more practiced. You can see they've put in a lot of hours in the water, right? and it is fantastic to see them back. Um, but you would think the experience of this KZ inside is just pulling through, current score line leading five, no, coming to the end of the first chucker. Right, let's see if Maputu can score a sneaky ranger. Ball goes to number two, Josh Rustenberg. I think he'll have a little bit of a dip here. He's going to shoot it. Big finish and just wide of the post. And just like that, the first chucker of this game comes to an end. Five goals to nil in favor of Oldies Water Polo Club versus Maputu.
Alrighty, and welcome back to the second chaka of this game in the Gauteng Invitational Tournament. Maputu versus Oldies Water Polo Club. Oldies looking definitely like the dominant side in the first chaka, leading five goals to nil. But this Maputu side really, really looking a lot more positive than previous years. It's really, really good to see them back in the water. ZN with the win of the ball, a little bit of an uncontested swim off. I'm sure they won't mind that. Kelly Hilden Hayes winning the ball. See, just big carry there. Number 10, James Bentley looking to carry it forward. Back to Bentley. Bentley looks to carry it onto, Ho uh, onto Todd. Todd, big, big, big physical threat. You will look to control. You might look to have a dip here. Oh, and there is the kick out. As you know, you have to back off after a foul. But great experience there from Todd Howard to play that rule. Fantastic effort from him. Onto Bentley. Bentley is over. Big, big patience here. You see Zedin, you can see they're just going through their processes. Big finish, ricocheting off the post, but they do retain. Goes, oh, a great little intercept attempt there. Todd does still have the ball. Lots of patience, still Kinya wide open, all by himself, and fantastic finish. Great goal there from Dil Kinya. And just like that, another goal goes the way of oldies. You can see uh, coach Rob Ambler, he's now moved down to KZN. He is heading up this water polo club. It's fantastic to see him back in the mix. Um, but you can just see just a little bit of more communication from the guys. You can see they're, a lot, they're very, very casual on that attack, but they need to be a lot more active on talking regarding what they are doing. Maputu will look to carry the ball up. Right, with their number 10, Lindahl. Lindahl moves it across to Ricardo. Ball goes over across to number 12, Edison. Edison looks to carry, but big block again. You will have to work harder than that to get around the long arms of Dil Cunha. He's got fantastic legs. You can see just good awareness. Guys looking to cover. You can see in just building into this game. They will carry Todd Howard from the left-hand side looking to carry. Right, you know he has a shot on him. Will he opt to take it or he's opt to slow the ball down? Ball into center forward. An exclusion drawn there. Fantastic exclusion drawn there from Sheldon. Right, fantastic work. Big balk, big finish, and just like that, the ZN side score again through Kelly. Fantastic work for him. Yeah, you love to see it, right? Nice, beautiful day here at St. David's, right? Really, really is a great day to play some, to play some water polo. Um, but the skate ZN side, it's lovely to have them back in the mix. They did come to the inaugural one. They did miss last year's one, unfortunately, but they are back in the mix. Maputu, this is their third year in a row, so we love to have them constantly. They're massive, massive fans, and it's always great to see growth in South African water polo. Ball into number two, but easy collect there from Gareth May. Unfortunately, there, Josh Rassenberg unable to collect the ball. And hard counter again from Todd Howard. He has counted massively from this left-hand side. He might look to have a dip here. He does have the cannon on him. Big patience, but big finish. But, ah, oh, fantastic collection there. And great, great movement there from Ruan Bassin, the number three from the Old East Water Polo Club. And just like that, scoreline reading eight goals to nil in favor of the Old East Water Polo Club. Let's see what Maputo can do here. You can see they're looking a little bit lethargic. They have rotated some players in. They need to look at just a little bit more confidence on attack. Right, they are definitely looking like a fitter and more structured side, which is lovely to see. But let's see if they can use that experience going forward now into this attack. You can see there's a case at inside, opting just to play a bit of a shallower drop, giving them time on the ball, not opting to press really hard. Right, great collection there. Number eight looking to carry ball into center forward, looks to throw it. Great back shot, but great save there from Gareth May. Oh, we love to see that effort from the returning Igor Lorat. He is a fantastic player for this Maputo side. He is one of the stewards. It's, he has been at every single tournament. Todd Howard looking to carry again. Big finish just wide of the post. You can see there Todd just a little frustrated with himself. Look, opting to call for a sub. You see Maputo. I think they're looking a little bit exhausted. They have opted to call a timeout. Maybe just to refresh some legs. Refresh some legs, yeah, make some subs. You can see Grant Bulcher there, the experienced goalie that he is, former SA goalie. Just opting to, to slow the team down for his team. Like, 
but rather in these long course games, you know, four by seven minutes stop start at 30 meters, it is exceptionally strenuous. Uh, and if you have guys that are in the water constantly, it is going to be a hard ask to keep up with the fitness levels of this game. You see Maputo maybe just looking to re-strategize here. It'll be very interesting to see what the coach does say regarding team strategy. You can see there the oldies water for club not too phased. They'll look to play into their defensive positions and go through their processes. You can see Rob Ambler just, just micromanaging Todd Howard there, asking him to relax. But let's see what happens. But what a beautiful day it has been for water polo, right? This is the third annual Gauteng Invitational Tournament, right? And, and it is fantastic to see a lot of returning faces. As the tournament goes on, I'm sure the polo will get a lot more competitive. There will be some emotions, some up and downs, and it is all happening here on It's Happening Dot Africa. Right, fantastic streaming service. They have done this three years in a row. They have made it their own. It's fantastic to have them back. As you can see, the, the sponsors as well, Chill Out, Barter 24, and Makasa, the proud sponsors, plus St. David's Marisi Nanda. Right, Mabutu back on the attack. Movement of the ball over to the left-hand side. There is a large tussle in the center forward position, but, but again, another wayward pass, and all these come away with the ball again through Dokunia. He is racking up the steals for this fixture. Ball goes over to Mitchell. Mitchell will give it over to Kelly. Kelly will look to carry. He has time. Mitchell is driving down the middle. Fantastic drive from Mitchell there. Might look for the penalty. Great advantage and penalty is awarded. Unfortunately there, Ricardo just impeding Mitchell over the back as he shot and penalty is awarded for the Oldies Water Polo Club. It'll be very interesting to see who takes it here. Will it be one of the youngsters or one of the more veteran level players? Let's see what happens. And there you see Rob Ambler just using his coaching voice saying, Kelly, you will take this, my boy. Let's see where he bins it. Or will the experience of Grant Balcher come into play? We love a little bit of momentum here, a little bit of a chuckle. You can see everyone's having fun. It's fantastic to see. Huge balk. Oh, and there, saved by the woodwork. And you got to love it. Grant Bolcher will claim that one as he always does. He's got Ricardo open on the left hand side. Ball does go to him. Big carry. You got Igor resting hard, hard in the hole. He's working fantastically well. Ball again stays on the left hand side, moving over to Landal. Landal will look to hold, look to carry. They need to make a decision here on what they're going to do. All right, he looks to go. Has a go, but great block effort there from. Ruan from the Oldies Water Polo Club. Gareth May looking for his fetches. Right, again, Mitchell looking to fetch on the right hand side. Fantastic work. Dil Kunya is open on the left hand side. Can he find him? He does. A little bit of a wayward pass. Dil ops for the lob. Fantastic ball placement. Right, and great goal there from the SA center back. Fantastic work from him. And you see this all these water polo club, you can see that Rob Ambler has them fantastically well drilled. They know their processes. Right, Mamaputu's side, they're definitely looking a lot more confident on the ball. But they just need to make the right decisions. Right decision making, looking left and right, finding open players, creating open players for themselves. But let's see what they can muster on this next attack. Current scoreline reading nine goals to nil in favor of the Oldies Water Polo Club from KZN. Maputo will look to carry. Ball goes over to the number six, San Sandro. Sandro will look to carry on to number two, Josh. Josh is one of the experienced players. He did play for them last year. It's fantastic to have him back for the Maputo side. All these will look to carry, but again, hard fetch from the right hand side. Looking left. They have option left. You can see they've gone through this process many a times. On to Jordan Mailer. We'll look to Bork. Bork. Great. Oh, great save there from the uh, Grand Balcher there, huh? showing his uh, years of experience back in the legs. And you see he's just doing a little bit of coaching there on the side. He is exceptionally well veteran in this war, sport of water polo. Uh, Igor working fantastically well there to get some position, but a bit of a wayward pass and an easy claim for Bentley there. Right again, ball fetched from the right hand side. Adrian looking to carry, he will look to balk. Ball over to the left, fantastic finish and a good goal there for Jordan Mailer. He is also a veteran of KZN Senior Men's Water Polo. He is in the mix for a while now. You can see he's definitely established himself in this team and it is fantastic to see. 
And see there, Rob Emler, just opting to rest some of the some of the more senior players. Um, he is giving a bit of rotation to maybe some of the youngsters, maybe some of the school kids that are in this team. Right, it is a great, great tournament to grow some experience and exposure. Fantastic for them to be a part of it. Now let's see what Maputo can do. Ricardo De Santos looking to carry the ball up the pool. Big ball king, you see, looking a lot more active. Great pass there over to Ivan Lerat, the brother of Igor. Oh, great little work there from Josh Rustenberg. Can he get the shot off? Oh, but just unfortunately fouled. That's fantastic work and great lane marking there from number four, Mitchell Slade. Great defense and again, counter attack on the right hand side. Ball goes over from Gareth May all the way over to Adrian. He will look to carry onto the cross pass. No, he'll look to carry himself. Back shot, cheeky goal there. Nice, cool, calm, composed and simple finish. Fantastic, you love to see it. One minute, 17 seconds left of this chakra. Let's see if Maputu can find themselves on the scoreboard. They need to just at least test the goalie. Uh, Gareth, I don't think, has, has been tested too much. Um, he needs to be, the ball needs to be thrown at the goal in order for goals to go in. Maputu haven't exactly taken any goal scoring chances. They need to back themselves slightly more in that regard. Let's see how they do now as they come towards the end of this chakra. Number 10 there, Landal. Just looking nice and patient. You can see they are trying to talk, communicate through each other. They have rolled the double hole through Ivar. He will receive the ball. Just a little bit of lack of legs there. Needs to push hard there. Back to Landal. Maybe he'll look to have a dip here. He is outside six. He might look to have a dip. He will have a go, but he has balked it. I don't think it will count. And it has gone wayward of the goals. Slight wrist twist there. Back to your fundamentals. Make sure you're not twisting your wrist. Uh, but let's see how... Oldies finish up this chaka with 30 seconds left on the clock. Carry there from Jordan Mailer, I believe he will look to carry. Just opts to slow the ball down. They are swinging down. Ball into Todd Howard. Big rock, big save. Fantastic work from Guard Vulture and a ball under there. You expect the SA Center forward to make sure you put that in the corners. But you can see Chicky Smile there is not too unhappy with himself. And Maputu will, I think, have the final say in this chaka. Jordan Rustenberg working really, really hard to hold water there, but a bit again a wayward pass there from the Maputo players. And all these are away on it. Mitchell looking to cover, ball into Todd Howard. Big finish, and again finding the woodwork. Very, very unfortunate. And that will draw the end of the second chaka. Current scoreline leading 11 goals to nil in favor of all these water polo club.
Welcome back to the third chakra of this Karting Invitational Water Polo Fixture versus Oldies from the KZN and Maputu from Mozambique. Fantastic to have them both back in the tournament. Let's see, Maputu have shown great signs of have shown great signs of attacking spirits. They just have not been able to capitalize well. You can see the oldies going through their processes, right, and making the most of their chances. Current score leading 11 goals to nil in favor of all these. Dil Kunya on the ball. He's got a big ball. Current SA player. You know what he's about. On to Mela. Mela back to Kunya. Right. Ball goes over to their number six. Right. Adrian Turner. And fantastic goal there from Mitchell Slade. Right. Just like that. You can see coach Rob Amlet just asking his players. Let's go through processes. There's no need to rush our attacks. You know, there's lots of time, lots of polo to play. It is a long tournament. Right, let's just focus on what we need to do fundamentally and to make sure we can do it in the bigger games. Right, there we go. Number four, Slavio. Sorry, apologies. Silvio will carry. Ball goes over to Schult, uh, Shilton. Right, over onto the right-hand side. He does look to carry. Lots of familiar faces. Again, that's, oh, they need to get their center forward onto two meters. Oh, but massive drive if they can find him. And just a bit of a wayward pass. And just like that, Jordan comes away from the ball. They have a hard count on the right-hand side through Adrian Truder. What can they do? You can see nice casual swim up the pool. There goes Dil Kunia looking at options. Right, ball goes to number eight, Kirk Wilson. He will look to carry... Looking at options, Todd Howard, the big center forward, the SA center forward in the hole. Oh, a bit of a cheeky pass there, but throwing it right into the Maputo defender. Great defensive awareness there from Shilton. Right, they do have a counter-attack on. Number 10 from Landau getting the ball. Landau will look to create options here. They do have Jordan going down the left-hand side. They do find him. A little bit of wayward pass again. Number 7, Ricardo, is on his side. We'll look for options. Ah, but you see a little bit of a tight press defense. Ricardo does manage to get it back. What will he do here? He's outside, outside six. Will he have a dip? I think he will. Does have a dip, but great blocking effort there from Mitchell Slade. Ah, defensive awareness is so, so critical in these big games, especially at this level. You have to be holding yourself competitiveness. Ah, let's see what all these can do. Early ball into hole, into the big man, Todd Howard. He will look to turn, simple turn. Goes for the penalty, opts to go for the penalty, just to slow the game down. So fantastic work there. And you can see there, just going to his SA teammate there, Mr. Dolkunia, it is your turn to throw the ball. Fantastic work there. Let's see what Dolkunia can do here. You know, he's got fantastic legs, he's got long arms, but will the experience of Grant Vulture be too much for him? From one ex-SA goalie to a current SA player, what will he do? Let's see here. Dilkinia waiting for the whistle. Big legs. Big finish. Oh, Balch did get a finger to it, but unable to stop the ball from going in the back of the net. Great finish there from Dil Kornia. Let's see here. Maputu bring in some fresh faces. Let's see if they can muster attack. They have looked a little bit more threatening this Chaka, which is fantastic to see. They just need to be creating those options on attack. We do see there's a new goalie in for all these in Nathan Jacobs, the younger goalie, probably the protege of uh, the experienced Gareth May. Let's see what he can do within the goals. Maputu looking to carry through the right-hand side. Ball goes to their number 10 in Landau. Landau were looking at options. Much of control into Igor. Unfortunately, just a bit of a wayward pass there. And Igor unfortunate to receive the ball. Nathan looking at options. They have fetched from the right-hand side pretty much every time through Mitchell Slade. Mitchell Slade will look to carry. They do have a man-up situation. You can see they have opted to slow down. Use the full 30. Ball goes over to the number six in Adrian. Adrian will carry and great finish. You can see a little bit of frustration creeping into the Maputu camp here. And you can see they've put in a lot and lot of training hours behind the scenes to come here and be competitive, but they need to be slowed down and make those decisions. But again, fantastic process scene from the KZN Oldies Water Polo Club. Let's see, a lot more positives from Maputu here. They have, again, like I've been saying, they have been looking a lot more threatening. 
on the attacking spaces. They just need to get that crucial goal in. Let's see what they can do. Number eight, Ivar will look to carry. He does have lots of time and space. Maybe they need to start backing themselves a little bit more to throw the ball. Right, ball goes into Igor into the middle, the big man himself, but a drop defense there and greater wins from Ruan Basson to stop that attempt. Nathan Jacobs again feeding it over to the right hand side. Right onto Kelly. Kelly will look to carry over to Adrian. Adrian back into the middle onto Ruan. He will get fouled. But, oh, but great defensive awareness. And, oh, and he skims it in. Right there, Grant Balchuk just closing in his eyes, unable to catch the awareness of that shot. You can see apologetically giving it to his coach. Right. Thank you all for joining here on It's Happening Africa. It has been an absolute fabulous day for water polo in the first day of the third annual Gauteng Invitational Water Polo Tournament. Right, all streaming is happening on YouTube on the It's Happening YouTube channel. And you can find both the men's and ladies section will be streamed with live commentary brought to you by the It's Happening crew. Right, let's see if Maputu can come through here onto oh great drive but a bit of a reversal unfortunately there Josh Rustenberg pushing off the defender to gain an advantage but that was probably the a great great attacking option like again they they're doing the right things they just need to convert right ZN looking to bring the ball up through Kelly ball goes over to their number six Adrian into hole Onto Ruan, he has time, he has to space and simple finish for the young man. Fantastic work there. Let's see what else they get up to. See Rob Ambler, just uh, giving some words of advice there. You know, it's never too late to provide coaching input. It's very, very important that, that teams don't lose their way and focus on their processes. But let's see, let's see. Maputo have every single attack. They have worked exceptionally harder and harder to create an option. They just need that one. It'll be fantastic to see them on the scoreboard in their first game of the tournament, I believe. Let's see what they can do. Big pressure there from the big man, Todd Howard. Right, just slowing the game down. Putting massive, massive pressure there on Alan Sergio. Ball goes over across to Ivar, one of the senior players in this team, passing it over to Landau. Can Landau create something for himself? Ball goes over to that number seven, Ricardo de Santos. He opts to shoot it and unfortunately just over the bar we'd love to see that he did take that shot though just needs to be slightly more accurate nathan jacobs feeding oh odd they're fetching it from the left hand side now don't see that too often right dil Cunha, the experienced man himself looking to carry down to the wing right looking at his options they do have a pass right across they do look to find him in adrian truder big wrap shot but great save there from the experienced grant Balcher. What will Adrian do? Into Todd, big man himself, big balk, big finish. Fantastic finish there from Todd Howard. See the boys very chuffed there. I think that may be the first goal in the game for Todd Howard. Very odd, usually Todd Howard is the one making sure of the goals, but you can see the juniors coming through and getting on the scoreline. First goal there for the SA center forward in Todd Howard. Fantastic effort there. Okay, Maputu, it is your time to shine. Every attack has been positive. Let's see what you can do. Ball goes over to the right-hand side. Onto Ivar. He is one of the seniors. Into the middle. Oh, but it has to go over. You're not going to outstretch Dil Kunia like that. You need to make sure of your passes. Right, and Oldies away again. For a team named Oldies, they do have a lot of youth in the side. There goes Adrian. Adrian will look to turn. Fantastic finish. Nifty little player there. Fantastic work. Grand Balcher just vo okay. <laughs> using some language that is not safe to say in the commentary booth. <laughs> and then Grant, I'm sure at this point, knows what he's doing. He is frustrated with himself. Let's see here. Maputu, they have shown such positives. They need to need to back themselves here. Right, and you see Josh opting to go into center forward position. Can he create a goal for himself? All right, number four, Silvio will carry it up onto their number 12, into Edison. All right, onto Landau. Landau has been a fantastic player for this Maputo side over the years. Fantastic to see how he has grown and developed in the sport. Ball goes again over to Silvio. He has lots of time and space. You will need to make a decision here. Maybe look to have a dip. 
feeding it over to the right-hand side, but great defensive awareness from Jordan Mailer. Nathan Jacobs onto the right-hand side. Ball goes over to Mitchell Slade. Mitchell Slade looking for options. Ball over to the big man, Todd Howard. Fantastic legs and top corner finish, adding his second goal of the game. Fantastic work there from the Old East Water Polo Club. Let's see, let's see what this Maputo side can do. We, you can see the local crowd have always been a big fan of this Maputo team. They always come here with such positive spirits and dedication for the sport. So let's see what they can muster on this attack. Ball goes over to the number six, the man himself, Sandro. Back to the number seven, Ricardo. Ricardo looking to carry up the pool into this cover and fantastic defensive awareness. Nathan Jacobs getting pressed there from Josh, but good composure from the man Bentley on the ball. Will look to feed. Right, they do have a cross drive coming through there, number eight in Kirk Wilson. Kirk Wilson carries and great finish there from Kirk. Fantastic effort there. See lots of mobility from the ZN side. Lovely to see. Current score reading 20 goals 2-0 in favour of Aldi's Water Polo Club. Coming into the final 30 seconds, will the Maputo side bring some magic? Final 30 seconds of the third chakra, but it would be uh, fantastic to see them get on the score, sh uh, score sheet, especially in the last moments of this chakra. They need to back themselves. Let's see what they can do. Ball into hole. Josh gets it. Foul is awarded. Ball out to the outside. Onto Ricardo. I think he might have a dip here. Will he have a go? Big balk, big balk, big finish. But great block again from the ZN side coming in favor of Ruan Basson. And last 15 seconds, they will go through their processes. Right, let's see what they go through here. Mitchell Slade looking to carry on to Jordan Mailer. Great finish, great goal. Fantastic work from them. And as we come to the end of this third chakra, let's see if Maputu will do a long range effort here. It'll be interesting to see what they say at the final six seconds of the game. Let's see. Landau, he has the ball. Someone needs to shoot it on Ricardo. No one opts to, unfortunately, and it will carry on with a nullness scoring drought. All these 21 goals unanswered from Maputu. Let's see if the fourth chakra will make or break their scoring droughts and see what they can do. But fantastic polo here from all these water polo and lots of positives to focus on for Maputu. We will see you in the fourth and final chakra.
Welcome back to the fourth and final chaka of this Oldies versus Maputo fixture. Oldies really have put on a dominant display in this game. Big ball into centre forward, but reversal in favour of the way of Maputo. Like I was saying, Oldies really have put in a big graft um, in this game, putting 21 unanswered goals to Maputo zero. Maputo really do need to come through with some intensity of attack. They've created fantastic options for themselves, but it's one or two silly mistakes. A little bit wayward, unfortunate to get that side. Let's see what they can do. Movement on the ball goes over to Ricardo de Santos. Shoots it! Love the effort though, fantastic effort. I think that is one of the better chances they have had all game. So fantastic that they're backing themselves in that regard. There, Mitchell Slade looking to fetch. Right, all these getting their way up the pool. Right, over to Jordan Mela, looking at his options. Big little tussle in center forward position. Patience, patience on the ball. Ball into hole, into Ruan. Ruan opts to go for the back shot, but wide. And for throwing his head back, it is a reversal. Let's see what Maputo can do. They've started this chakra really, really well with lots and lots of positives. All right, let's see what they can do. Landau going to carry the ball up the pool. He has been one of their star players. It's fantastic to see. Ball goes to number three. Shot! Oh, and just outside of the post. Sultan, unfortunate there not to score. But they are looking so much more positive on attack. This Maputo side, fantastic to see how they are growing throughout this game. Mitchell Slade looking to control. They do have Ruan in the hole. They're looking to play him through there. Right, looking for the turn. Does get a casual foul though. Let's see what they can do. Back to Mitchell. They have rolled in with Jordan. Ball goes into Jordan, but great cover defense there from number seven, Ricardo. Now they need to get up the pool. Ball moves to Landau. Landau does need to carry it forward. They need to make sure they're getting up the pool so they have time to attack. Let's see what they get up to. Landau still looking to carry forward. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Ball goes to number three. Shot in. He almost scored in the last attempt, opting to pass it to his main man, Ricardo. Ball into hole, onto Josh, but ball under, unfortunately. Great crash defense there from the ZN side. Let's see, Jordan looking to fetch on the left. We'll look to carry it forward. Lots of patience, maybe waiting for center forward positioning. Mitchell on the ball. Ball goes across to Kelly. Ball into center forward, onto Ruan. Ruan scoop shot off the post. Maybe a little too casual there on the finish. Number 10, Landau again, looking to carry forward. He has been one of the main attacking threats for this Maputo side. What is he gonna do? Looking to carry. Maybe he's looking to have a dip here. Big balk, big finish, but great block there from Kelly. Ball is in. Nathan Jacobs does have the ball. Kelly does look to fetch. They do have a two, three on two situation here. Kelly will look to take it up. Looking at his options. Passing it into the middle onto Mitchell. Mitchell, big balk, big balk, big finish, big goal. Fantastic work from him. See Landau there trying to make changes. Igor has coming back in. Fantastic to see the big man back in the water. Let's see what these guys get up to. Jordan Rustenberg will look to start us off here. I'm really hoping this Maputo side will get on the score sheet. They need to do well for themselves here. They've had so many attempts going forward. Can they produce a goal for themselves? I think it will be celebrated like they've won the game. Lots and lots of positives. But let's see, all these have been really, really solid on the defense. Uh, let's see what they get up to here. Mr. Ricardo de Santos bringing the ball up the pool, moving it over to the right-hand side. Oh, big balk, big finish, and there it is! Finally, the streak has been broken. Three minutes. 15 seconds into the fourth chaka, Maputo have scored their first goal and what a goal it was coming through Ivan Lorat, one of the main senior players in this team. Ball goes over to number four. 
Mitchell Slade onto number eight, onto Kirk. Ball goes into onto Todd Howard, but just a bit too physical there. And reversal is blown. You can see a little bit of confusion there from Todd. Right, number two, Josh Rustenberg looking to carry. He needs to create some options here for his team. Looking to promote positive attacking play. Helder looked to carry the ball. Back to Josh. Nice control there from the ball. Lob over pass, but just short. And Mitchell Slade will take that one all day. Okay, let's see what they get up to. Yeah, we've got two minutes, 36 seconds left on the clock. Right, Jordan carrying the ball forward into Todd Howard. Does miss, but it is a reversal first for drowning the player. You can see himself asking questions, not happy with that decision. Pass goes over to Jordan. Jordan will look to carry up the pool. Looking at options. They do have option on the right-hand side in number 12, Edison. Ward does go to Edison. Has a dip, but great block there from his opposite number, Jordan Mailer. And it's fantastic to see that they are producing a lot more positive attacking play. We love to see it. Uh, long pass to Todd Howard there. He will be composed. Maybe we'll look to milk a penalty or kick out here. But he does opt. Slow down, movement, finish. Great goal from the SA center forward. That does conclude his hat-trick in this game. Fantastic work to see the experience of the SA men's setup coming through in this game. Current scoreline reading 24 goals to one in favor of Oldies. Who knows? Maybe Maputo might strike a comeback here in the last two minutes and pull an upset. But let's see what they do. Igor will start us off, the big man himself. Ball goes over to their number 12, Mr. Edison. He will carry it forward. Back to Igor. A little bit of a wayward pass. And then a big crash defense. They did give him the foul though. It is outside six. Can he have a dip? He is taking his time. Nothing has happened. They need to give him back the ball. Ball goes again to Edison. Big legs. Looking for the foul. Who is the attacking option for Maputu? Who will get them on the scoreboard? Back to Igor. Back shot. And just wide of the post. you got to love the attempt. Fantastic work there from the big man. Ball goes over to number six, Adrian. They are pressing tight. Fantastic to see him on the ball. Mitchell said open right in front of goals. No worries in the world. Taking his time. Got lots of time and space. Big balk, big finish. Great goal. And with that, 25-1 current scoreline leading. It is turning into a bit of a rugby result with a few conversions. But you know what? There's still lots of polo to play. One victory or one upset does not determine your tournament. I'm sure the Maputo guys will come back tomorrow with enthusiasm and eagerness to play the game. Let's see what they get up to. Final minute, 20 seconds. There are three attacks left in this game. Let's see if these guys can capitalize on at least one of them. They have put themselves on the scoreboard. Let's see there. Number three, passing it over to the main man there in Ricardo de Santos. Looking at options. Ball into Rustenberg. He has time and space. He has time. Will he finish? Control. Shoots it, and just like that, they are back on the scoreboard. Second goal of the game coming through the main man there, Josh Rustenberg. Fantastic effort. Well done. Final 55 seconds of the game. Let's see how this oldie side decides to end off the game. Hopefully, it will be through a goal. We would love to see maybe the Moputu side putting up a mighty, mighty defense to get one back on their side. Let's see what they do. Ball goes to Jordan. Right, into Todd Howard. Bit of a wayward pass. And there's the steal. Lundell. He can officially claim that he has stolen a ball from the SA center forward. You love to see it. Last attack here for the game. Final 30 seconds. Josh Rustenberg looking to carry the ball up forward. He is met by Dil Kunier, who is looking for an intercept pass maybe. Maybe to force a shot. Time is ticking. They do need to make a decision for themselves. Pass over. Ball does go to De Santos. Ricardo, will he throw it? He does. But unfortunately, one of his players caught in the two meter. And with that final few seconds, 
foul is awarded and that will be the game. Final score reading 25 goals to two in favor of all these water polo club. Fantastic win for them, but fantastic to see Maputo back in the string of things. We will see you in the next game on itshappening.africa.